Hey there, Bob against Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments down there. We'll talk about it after the show. But right now, let's just get into the show. Soil alkalinity is something we talk about quite a bit, uh, where you don't have enough alkalinity in your soil and your pH numbers as you go through your growth start falling through the floor. But there are occasions, there are people, there are situations where you get a upward trend, where you're getting too much alkalinity just as much of a problem, just as much of an issue. How do you deal with that? Scott and I talked about that a little bit uh, from a viewer question in the viewer questions episode. It was a good clip. I think you'll find it interesting, even if you don't have this issue, because we talk a little bit about, uh, you know, just growing in, in general. So please watch the clip and I'll talk to you after. Wisconsin Four Eyes. I am new to nectar and I'm also one of those uh, struggling to keep my soil pH down. After some research, I see it's due to my well water table being in the limestone. I haven't brought, bought any alkalinity checker yet, but I can say that my base water EC is 420 ppm at 7.9 pH, and I'm stuck with um, Gaia flushes for the rest of my career. My soil always oh, creeps up, and I'm currently at 7.9. You got PS on the back of the Gaia, it says for stress plants. Is that referring to my high soil pH situation or something else? So let's just go to, he's got high pH. He doesn't have the soil alkalinity. He's not checking his thing. What are we doing here? Well, I'm, I mean, he's probably right. He probably has super high alkalinity. Yeah. And if his soil continues to rise in, especially the bloom stage or late veg, then yeah, his alkalinity is going to constantly be an issue. A couple things that can be done is, you know, reverse osmosis in that. Mm-hmm cutting it in half with just distilled water or tap water and your, or, you know, do RO and then cut it half with okay. your well with the high alkalinity and half reverse osmosis, which now is neutral or becoming acidic rapidly. Um, another thing like Dave Miner, the guy who really kind of dove deep into alkalinity back in the day when pig was really working with alkalinity and everybody was kind of figuring yeah. out why yeah. he was going acidic. Mm -hmm. One of his issues was over alkalinity in the soil, and the best way for him was basically a soda stream, a carbonated water maker, and okay. just periodically watering with just carb carbonated water, just straight carbonated water. Like one watering today is only going to be carbonated water to take my 7, 9 pH in my soil and get it down to 6.9. So... A Gaia flush is not a long-term solution. No, you're not missing a feed. You're giving them the pH they need to reduce the higher alkalinity in the soil, but it's not reacting it so aggressively like carbonic acid from carbonated water would. That was going to neutralize that pH and the alkalinity a lot faster because the carbonic acid is breaking it down where Gaia is going to create a lower pH with all the organic acids in yeah. there. But over the same feeding and time, you're still going to have that buildup of pH. Guy is a this time fix. It'll Carbonated water or... Be a longer and also fix. back it off your water with some RO or some distilled water. Your best bet. Like be you, go down to the, you go to the Walmart and you get a couple buckets of this stuff and you pour that in with your watering. Yeah. That's the, the, the long-term solution. Or buy a cheap RO system and okay. really just have... 50-50 RO to your well water, so you're not using only RO water. Still getting that. You're well, you just want the alkalinity. Yeah, just not you just want to much. knock it back. Yeah. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, what do you think? Informative? Entertaining? Helpful? Let me know in the comments. Also, um, I've been thinking a lot about this. Um, we use the nectar, I assume most of us, for growing the devil's lettuce, and maybe that's all we use it for, but um, I think there's maybe something here um because you know when we're doing this we're growing for flavors like not just to get better flavor but to really tailor those flavors to our taste i wonder if we might be able to do that with vegetables because uh i don't know might be a neat thing i'd like you to do some thinking on that uh give me your comments your thoughts your questions and maybe we'll pursue that a little bit if it's interesting to you i love you and i'll see you tomorrow the ocg fam show it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.